Hey everyone, it's me, Alex. And everyone's favorite bird, Archie. <laughs> If you watch Game of Thrones, you're going to understand my next reference. My little birds have been in my ear the last couple of weeks telling me that there's a new ASOS Hello Kitty collab. I'll tell you what, it's a very expensive collection and I'm going to st I'm just going to say it straight out, it's not worth the money. Like I can guarantee you it's not worth the money. It's very very overpriced. You're paying for the name. You're not paying for quality, I can tell you that. I mean, it's it's good quality. Like they can't really go charging like up to $100 per piece to give you crappy quality, but it's not worth the money, I can guarantee you. However, that being said, I am wearing the pieces a lot from the last collection. So there's this thing called cost per wear and it's basically like, yeah, sure, maybe I paid a hundred bucks for it, but if I wear it a hundred times, it's like a dollar per wear. You try to aim to get a lower cost per wear. That's why when you buy really, really cheap things from China, for example, it might cost you $15 and you think to yourself, yeah, that's a really, really cheap dress. But let's say the second time that you wear it, the zipper breaks off. Well, then you paid $15 for one wear. Whereas if you get something that's slightly better quality and you can wear it a hundred times it brings the cost per wear down now not a lot of people think like that but I'm trying to get into that frame of mind for this collection I'm trying to say to myself okay is the quality good enough that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it and if it is then okay I can endorse it to you guys but anyway without further ado this is what you're here for this weighs like eight kilos I'm not kidding this is so heavy I like to take my time when I do my videos but I'm in just the slightest bit of a hurry I'm actually about to go out for dinner that's why I've got this like crazy makeup on and I kind of want to wear one of these things to dinner so that's why I'm like you know what I'm just gonna tear this package open tonight and let's have a look at it oh yeah this is Archie hello yes he is bird birds make annoying noises leave if you don't like annoying noises Okay, so it's not only the Hello Kitty collection in this bag, there's other stuff too. I'll put the Hello Kitty collection at the start and then I will put the rest of the stuff at the end. So if you don't like Hello Kitty, you can skip ahead. Okay, this tracksuit, oh my goodness. I reckon I got maybe 50 DMs sending me this tracksuit. <laughs> I've already made up my mind. I don't think I'm gonna return it. I mean, I just have a good feeling that I'm gonna like this. Now this is very expensive. Like, I can't say that it's going to be worth it. Here's the top. How sweet is that? This is my favourite colour combination ever. Pastel blue and pink. Like, ugh, it's amazing. And it's also got this cream coloured stripe here as well. This little Hello Kitty. Oh, look, so cute. And it's got Hello Kitty embroidered on the back of it, just there. Now, I am not a sporty person in any way at all. I hate playing sport. But I don't mind wearing a little bit of a sporty outfit here and there, and this is too sweet. <laughs> and here's the matching skirt. Oh my gosh, this is just, oh, it's so cute. I feel like if there's going to be one thing from this collection that I'm guaranteed to keep, it is this set. Because look at this skirt. How precious is that? The little Hello Kitty down here is so adorable, winking. And then Hello Kitty is written on the back as well. It's just beautiful, you know, it's very thin. I mean, I'm actually, I can see straight through this. I can see the Hello Kitty on the other side. It's very, very thin fabric. So I feel like that's not gonna pass the underwear test. All right guys, well, I filmed the unboxing part of the video yesterday. I wanted to do it all in one day, but I ran out of time. I had to go out for dinner. So I'm gonna try the things on today. Hence why my makeup is different. Archie actually picked this makeup look for me. If you wanna see a My Bird Picks My Makeup video, just click this link here. It's also down in the description below. It's a great video. You should watch it. <laughs> you did a good job, Archie. Without further ado, let's try on the clothes. All right, guys. Well, here's the matching set. I am not blown away. It is adorable. The colors are perfect. The only thing is the skirt is $64 and the top is $70. The top on the inside is quite soft. The skirt is nothing to rave about. For a start, because it's got this zipper all the way along here, look at this. It's kind of like, it's kind of doing this, like it should be sitting flat. So it's not sitting well at all. It's comfortable, yes. It's a cute design, but all up, what is that? It's like $134 for this. I don't think this is worth $134, do you? Like drop down below, let me know. Do you think it's worth $134? It's not very soft, it's not that flattering, the colours are really cute, but man, I just, I don't know what to do. The skirt doesn't even have pockets. 
And the top doesn't have pockets either. So I'm not sure. <laughs> so obviously the collar, whoa, whoa, whoa. The collar can be done up like that, worn like a high neck. That is a lot of money for this set and I don't think it's worth it at all. But if you really, really like the look of it, hey, maybe you can justify spending the money, but man, I, I do not recommend it to you guys. But it is cute, it's cute. I might keep the top because I think the top is really nice. Pink here and pink there on camera, it's like blending together. I don't know if I really like the pattern. I don't think it's that flattering. <laughs> but, ugh, man, I just don't know. Okay, next up is a pair of shoes. Now I missed out on the shoes from the last collection that dropped and I was <laughs> devastated because they were so cute. Now these ones, I'm just a little bit uncertain because every picture that I've seen of them, I was like, yeah, they're cool. But I, I didn't think they were perfect. Let's see if I feel any differently about them in real life. So here they are, they're velvet. They've got this beautiful, beautiful chunky heel on them. What do you think? They're really, really cute. I'm just not so sure about the strap because it's got a couple of uh, buckle things here and I don't know if that's going to look as nice as it would have just looked with one but we'll see they feel amazing they're pink on the bottom so that's going to probably scuff quite easily after a couple of wears that'll probably wear away but this is the sort of thing I I will probably keep this because it's not every day that you get like a, a limited edition pair of Hello Kitty high heels and I do really like that heel. Like, look at the shape of it. It's almost round. Like, it's it's very, very cool. So I'm very excited to try those on. These shoes, I really, really like the small details. Can you see this? Can you see this little buckle? It's actually in the shape of a love heart. I think that's really nice. Like, that's a really nice added touch. I'll see how I go putting these on. So the strap is kind of like a double up. Like, you, you pull here and you pull here to make it tighter. So I'll put my feet into them and see how I go. These shoes are really nice, like to look at, I think they're pretty cute. Although I kind of find the bow at the front of them almost a little bit awkward. They look quite clunky. I, I think that they could be a lot better. I feel like maybe if the bow was even a little tiny bit smaller and maybe if there was only one strap. It's also a little bit difficult to get the buckle to tie up at the same length. See how on one leg the buckle is right in the center of my foot but on the other leg it's off to one side. It's quite difficult to kind of move it around and get them even. But aside from that, like I do think for a pair of limited edition shoes, they are really, really cute. And I can see why a lot of people would really like them. I think it just depends how you style them and what you wear them with. Yeah, they're, they're almost right, but they're just not quite there. I think I knew the second that this entered my shopping cart that I was going to return it. But I really wanted to show you guys because I think that some of you might be interested in it. But it's... It's this gigantic Hello Kitty skirt. It's a chul skirt. It is very, very long. Now the only real reference to Hello Kitty on this skirt is this tiny little bit of embroidery here. Not allowed. Sorry, forbidden. Yeah, it's got this tiny bit of embroidery there, but otherwise it's just this gigantic, huge, I mean, I can't even, you can't even see the bottom of it. It's huge and it's this chul skirt with little love hearts on it. I really don't think I'm going to get very much wear out of that at all, but I did buy it because it ended up in my DMs a couple of times and people were like, please get this, please review it, please. So this is for you guys. If you guys can think of some reason that you'd want to wear that, you might, you might like it. But I mean, I don't wear maxi skirts very often anymore. I used to, but I just don't wear them that much. But we'll see how we go. This skirt is nice, but for $130, I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm gonna have to return it. I thought to myself, like, I'll try it, and if I'm absolutely blown away, that'll justify the money. I'm not blown away. Like, it's, it's nice. It's nice, and that's it. It's got a double slit, so it's got a slit there, and it's also got a slit there. So that's nice. It's got a cute pink satin waistband, which is also very pretty. It's my size, but it's very loose on me. It's very long. I have heels on and it's almost touching the ground. Now I'm five foot nine. If you're shorter than me, you can almost guarantee that this is going to scrape on the ground, even if you have high heels on. So, 
It could be pretty good for a function or an event, but I just don't think that I could justify it. It's got this lovely tulle layer, and the hearts are kind of like velvet, so it's really cute. I think the attention to detail is lovely, but it's not worth the money. I can guarantee you that. It's just not. 130 bucks, like, far out. <laughs> I don't know how they can justify charging what they're charging. It's not silk, it's not made of gold thread. This little back detail, that's really sweet. I do like that. But aside from that, this skirt, it's pretty, but it doesn't have much going for it to justify the price that they're charging. It's, it's just not worth it. Now these are very, very reminiscent of the sweatpants that I got from the first haul. Except the jeans, and they are adorable. Good feeling denim, good quality. They've got these gorgeous little bows up on the side. They have Hello Kitty on the back of them, just here. They're really, really heavy. Now, I'm just the tiniest bit concerned about the fit because Queen Jelly Beanie, you have to go check out her channel. She has the most adorable channel ever. She said that the sizing was a bit off. She said that they run a bit small. So I'm just a little bit hesitant to see if they're actually like that on me. Never in my life have I had to fight so hard to put on a pair of jeans. This is unbelievable. And it's not just me, like it's not me ordering the wrong size because I've heard a lot of people online saying this. I don't know if something went wrong with the manufacturing, but there's a real issue with the leg opening. So I could not get these past my feet. I couldn't get them past my ankles. I had to fight and fight and fight. It was almost impossible. And now that they're on, I don't think I'm going to be able to return them because I think I'm going to have to cut them off. Like they fit me perfectly around the waist, that's totally fine. They fit my legs, but it's just the bottom, it's just the ankles. Like I just had to pull and pull and pull. Ankles only really come in one size, like it doesn't really matter what size your legs are, you've probably just got standard ankles. Most people would probably have similar ankles and I don't think that anyone's ankles would fit through this, like that was ridiculous. They're quite comfortable. Uh, I don't really like this cut, personally. I don't know if I'm just being fussy or what, but I don't think that they're very flattering. They're not skinny jeans. I do like the bows. I think the bows are really, really cute. But... And... And I do really, really like... I... I do really like where they sit. Archie! Come, come on! You are so naughty. Screaming. I'm trying to tell them about these jeans and you just won't stop screaming. What's wrong with you, huh? What are you doing? Yeah, so I do really like the height where they sit around the waist. I think that this cut here is really flattering. They're very comfortable around the waist too and I think these will look really cute with a belt. But I'm just not such a fan of the shape of the leg. Like, I don't think that it's very flattering at all. That could just be me though, like maybe it's because of my legs and my body shape, and they might look better on other people. I, I'm really, I'm really sad because, do you guys remember this? Do you remember this tracksuit that I got from the last ASOS Hello Kitty collection? Cause it also had the bows along the legs and I adore that, I wear it everywhere. And I thought, yeah, these jeans are gonna be the same. I'm gonna wear them all over the place. But because of how much I had to fight to get into them, and because of the funny sort of cut, I'm just not really sold. These are 95 Australian dollars. That's a lot. I mean, I don't normally pay... I don't normally pay more than maybe 40 or $50 at most for a pair of jeans. 95, you're paying for the Hello Kitty branding, you're paying for the bows, that's it. So I almost feel like if I want to recreate something like this myself, I could ask Sam. My best friend Sam is really, really crafty. I reckon that he could just sew some bows onto some jeans for me. Where's the, is there any actual Hello Kitty? Oh, there's just this. That's the only Hello Kitty related thing aside from the bows. So I think I might ask Sam. I'll just give him a pair of jeans. Like I've got some from Boohoo that were really, really cheap. And I'll see if Sam can recreate these for me. And maybe he can put a video up on his channel. I'll put the link to his channel down below. I reckon that he could DIY these jeans for me. And I would actually be able to put my foot through the hole. This jacket is another one that ended up in my DMs more times than I can count. 
Okay, look at this. How precious and pure is this? It's a Hello Kitty denim jacket. Oh, you like it, do you? Wow, yeah, you know what? That was my reaction too. I was very, very happy when I saw it. Yes. So it's got Hello Kitty written on it over here. And uh, Archie's chewing on my earrings. You need to stop. You need to stop. No, you need to stop. That's a pearl, not an almond. And then on the back, it has a very, very subtle Hello Kitty. Can you, you can just, just see it. It's white. Oh, I love these sort of color block denim jackets. That is so lovely. I'm really, really excited about that one. Okay, I've just matched the denim jacket with that same skirt from the two piece set. The denim jacket is nice. Like it's, it's not extremely form fitting, which, you know, I don't think that they're supposed to be, but I think it could have been a little bit better. This denim jacket is an Australian size six, which is a US size two. And I think it's actually fitting me more like maybe a size 10 or a size 12. So it's purposefully oversized, but man, I just, I adore the colors, but I kind of feel like I wouldn't really wear this just because I don't think it's flattering. I don't know, what do you guys think? Obviously denim jackets are not really meant to be form fitting, but I just, I think it could have been the tiniest bit more flattering than what it is. I, I don't know, it's just got Hello Kitty written on it just here. And then it's also got the Hello Kitty little character on the back. This had so much potential, and I think that the way that they pose the model on the website makes it look a lot more flattering than what it really is. I just feel really like, like an oversized, I don't know. And I think that the sleeves are a really strange shape too. Uh, I don't know, please let me know what you think. But for 109 Australian dollars, I would have liked it to have been a bit more form fitting than what it is. These are socks. I mean, I have a lot of socks that I have never ever worn because there's this terrible part of me that's like, they're too precious, they're too pure. I can't ruin them, I just can't, I can't wear them. Oh my God, wait a second. I kind of feel like these are almost the same as the ones I got from Supre. Hang on. No, false alarm, they're not, because these ones have little ears on them, and the ones that I got from Supre do not. <laughs> but they are very, very similar, and they're much more expensive than they were at Supre. Much more. So, I mean, <laughs> is that just ASOS being a douchebag and marking up the price, or are they made of different fabric? Because as far as I'm concerned, they're exactly the same. More socks? These ones are exactly the same as the others, but they're white. So these socks are $8 each. I've just got both socks on at the moment so you can see. So it's $8 for each pair of these socks. I think that's a little teeny tiny bit much considering you can get socks for two or $3 just like this in Japan, like Hello Kitty socks. I think it's a tiny bit much, but I do really like the way that the ears are like this. I think that's really cute. And little bow is also sticking up over the top. I think it's a really nice little detail. I think I'm gonna recommend them to you guys though. I think they're really, really adorable. I also picked up these slippers. Now these were a fair bit cheaper than the Lazy Oaf slippers that I got in my last haul, I can tell you that. I sent those back, I returned them. I think I'll keep these. These are very sweet. Look, they're just very simple, fluffy Hello Kitty slippers. Can't really go wrong. They're just, just plain creamy white fluffy Hello Kitty slippers. My only thing about these was the size guide. It was very strange. It was like small, medium, large, or extra large. I was like, hang on, what the hell? What size feet am I? I suppose I have large feet or do I have extra large feet? Like I'm usually a size 40 or 41, which is an Australian American size nine. Is that large? Is that extra large? I don't know, but I went for large. So uh, we'll see how they fit. Now these slippers, these were $28. They're so comfortable and they're really, really cute. Now for something I'm only ever going to wear at home inside, they're maybe not worth $28, but they're really soft. I do love them. I think they're so sweet. This little bow is really cute. I'm gonna keep these ones, but like I said, the sizing on these is a little a bit strange. These are a large. They're a tiny bit too small for me. So maybe if you have size 39 or 40 or 41 or whatever, maybe go extra large. They don't fit me as a size 40. $28, it's a 
it's a little bit much, but I do love them and I think they're super, super precious. So I'm gonna keep these ones. Now this is pajamas. Is that gonna stop me? N nope. I bought this for the top. This is My Little Pony pajamas. This is the second yellow My Little Pony top that I've got from ASOS. And again, it is the old school My Little Pony, which is too sweet. Love the yellow. And then there's also just a plain gray pair of shorts that has this little, what do you say? Wild and free. Look, I, I got it for the top. I, I'm gonna wear that top out of the house. That's not pajamas as far as I'm concerned. I know Archie, I'm a disgrace. <laughs> All right, well, I understand that this is supposed to be pajamas, but this top, but this top is so cute. I love it. I love these yellow t-shirts. I'm really, really digging them. The last My Little Pony t-shirt I got from ASOS was also yellow. So I feel like this will be nice to add to the collection. Now you have to buy it as a two-piece set. So you're gonna end up with the pajama shorts no matter what you do. I think I'll just keep these in a drawer and I will wear this t-shirt a lot out of the house. No one has to know it's pajamas. That can just be our little secret. Archie, are you okay? This is a $40 set. That is a bit expensive for pajamas. I'm gonna admit that now. It, and actually, come to think of it, if I'm only actually gonna get any use out of the t-shirt, not really get much use out of the shorts, I'm paying $40 for a yellow My Little Pony t-shirt. Now I'm starting to second guess myself. Now that I said that out loud, ah! yeah, no, maybe not. Maybe it's not worth it. <laughs> Check it out, this is My Little Pony again. Little teeny tiny pair of shorts. They don't have any pony reference on them, they're just kind of rainbow. But the top is what I'm here for. This top, look at this. Yay, I love it, it's so cute. It's right up my alley. I don't care that I'm 24 years old and I like things that have My Little Pony on them. If you don't like that, you can deal with it. You can take a hate somewhere else because My Little Pony is adorable. And so is this top. It's very well made, I will give it that. It's very well made. Oh my gosh, guys, this is $68. I really wanted to like it and I wanted to keep it because I thought to myself like, on the model, that looks awesome. It looks so cool. But now that I'm trying it on, I'm like, that is not worth $68. I mean, for a start, let's have a look at the hemline. The hemline is so bad. I can't even begin to describe like it's all sort of frayed. It's very, very thin material. It doesn't fit so nicely. Like it doesn't look very flattering. I guess from the side it looks okay, but $68 for, what is this? Is this loungewear? Pajamas, loungewear? I don't know. It is not worth it at all. This is going straight back. I just, I really wanted to like this, but I mean, even, even Archie, he knows this is terrible. So I don't know. The shorts run a little bit small as well. The top, it's very tight around the neckline and then obviously quite loose. It's, it's cute, but man, $68, no, no way, no, sorry. No. Archie's just gonna have a moment. What do you think, Archie? This one is going straight back. I just, no, nah, just don't even bother. I had no reason at all to go buying these. I don't know why I did it. I think I was just like a bird and I was like, oh, shiny, and I just wanted to pick it up and take it to my nest. These are the most extra gumboots you've ever seen in your entire life. They are sparkly, pastel, rainbow gumboots. Well, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that? When I saw it, I was like, well, I mean, it was like my hand was possessed. It just sort of went and bought them without me even knowing. I was just, I, it was like, I wasn't myself, it just happened. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, I don't know where I'm going to wear them, I don't know if I should keep them or not. I mean, they weren't too expensive, I just kind of feel like they're just a really fun extra thing to have around, why not? Dan spotted these last night and he said to me, what the hell are those? He laughed so hard. I was like, what, don't you like them? He said, oh, they're interesting. <laughs> I guess that's a good way of describing them. They are interesting. I think for $40, that's actually not too bad. Like they're, they're pretty good. I think if I had any occasion to go out in the rain and I wanted to look really, really cute, then these are worth it. But that being said, they're huge and they will probably take up a lot of room and it doesn't rain that much where I live. So I don't think I'll get very much use out of them, but they are really cool. Now 
Now this is interesting. They, I didn't realize, but they sell misguided on ASOS. There were a few things from the misguided Barbie collection that were actually for sale on the ASOS website that weren't for sale on the misguided website. So I just picked those up, kind of just felt like I needed to complete the collection. <laughs> So it's just a crop top. This is really nice fabric. I love this fabric. It feels lovely. And it's just got Paris and, you know, Paris, London, New York, and Milan written on it. So that's, I just thought that was really cute. Here's the Barbie misguided t-shirt. Now I got this in one size up. This is an Australian size eight and I would normally wear a six. This is a $36 t-shirt. It's just a white t-shirt with words on it. So I don't think it's worth $36 again. I thought I'll give it a go. If it really, really impresses me, I'll keep it, but I'm... I think I have enough from this collection, actually, and I think I probably paid too much already for the rest of the misguided collection with Barbie, so yeah, maybe this one will have to be returned. It is a really cute t-shirt, though, but I just... Whenever I see white t-shirts for any more than $20, I'm like, mm, no. Look, more My Little Pony. I didn't realize I got three My Little Pony things in this haul. <laughs> It's just a plain white My Little Pony t-shirt. Just, so now I have four of them. I have one from my first haul and now I have three from this haul. Okay, this My Little Pony top is more like it. This one was $18 down from 36. So I think I can justify that. I like the length of it, it's quite a long top and I think the sleeves are kind of cool too. They fold up a little bit. The design is very simple, plain white tee. What did I say before? I can't justify spending more than $20 on a white t-shirt. Well, this was 18. Wouldn't have paid 36 for it, but I think I'll keep it for $18. I got the most excitable message on Instagram the other day where someone sent me this. She was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, you have to get this. She went nuts. So, uh, here you are. Here is this gigantic pastel rainbow cardigan. It's huge. It's like a picnic blanket. Oh my gosh. It's very, very sweet. So it's got all of the good colors on it. This is very, very, very soft. So I'm really happy about that. Okay, I saved this gigantic pastel cardigan for the uh, last item because I thought I was saving this for last, but I'm, I'm not such a fan. Am I crazy? Do you guys like this? I just, I don't know. It's, it's okay. It is really soft. Can't deny that. It's very soft. It's, look at this though. Look, there's this gigantic thread hanging out of it. When you're paying $76 for something, you would assume that it's not going to have loose threads as soon as it arrives at your door. So that's a little bit of a concern for me. I feel like this is a lot of money for what it is. It is cool, like look at it from the back. It's a cool cardigan, but that's, that's the extent of it. I mean, once again, it's heinously overpriced for what it is. Like, it's just... Archie, come here. Do you think this is overpriced? Look at it. Tell me what you think. Is this, this cost me $76. Do you think this is worth $76? No, no, it's not. I would only pay, if this was 40, I would say yes. 50, I'd be like, <laughs> hell no. 76? ASOS, you're canceled. It's soft, it's okay. That's the extent of it. Like, don't, uh, <laughs> unless you're obsessed and you've been looking your whole life for a very, very long pastel cardigan, just don't, just don't bother. You know what it reminds me of for some reason? I don't know why. It reminds me of like whiz fizz, like sherbet, which is cute. Like it's very, it looks like it would be very tasty if you ate it. That's, that's about the extent of it. But aside from that, I'm not impressed at all. And I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, guys, that's everything. Sorry that today was such a negative video. If you've seen my other haul videos, you'll know that I'm normally quite a positive person, but I tried to be a bit more critical today because of just how much this stuff costs. Like I wanted to be really, really, you know, if I'm telling you guys something's good, I want it to be really good because if you're gonna fork out that much money on something, I want you to be happy with it. And I just, I don't think that any of these things would impress anyone that much if they were paying that sort of money for it. Maybe if you like anything in this video, maybe, wait and see if it goes on sale. I would suggest that. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Archie, 
Come say goodbye. Come on. Come on. We've got to say bye now. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and join the flock. Click that like button and turn on the notifications as well. You know, all that sort of thing. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Look, who's that? Do you see the birdie? Do you see the birdie? Oh, he can see himself in the viewfinder. Oh, wow. He can see himself on the screen. Wow.